Verizon provides full flexibility for users who need to report their progress on assigned work and enables doing so directly in the application through emails or through iCal feeds. Within the application, users can enter progress directly in work items or through timesheets, which can then be used for precise invoicing and analytics. For users who don't have access to Clarison, or those who prefer to report time via email, Clarison offers automatic progress update requests with the added ability to subscribe to interactive iCalendar feeds. Let's start by updating progress through emails using a progress update request. These emails are the primary way that email-only users update their progress, but they can be used for progress reporting by all users within your organization. Progress update request emails can be sent out automatically by enabling the relevant system settings. You also have the ability to manually send an update request by selecting a work item, for example a milestone, clicking on email, and selecting the Send Update Request option. The email shows all the tasks that you are assigned to from the selected milestone and includes the expected and actual progress, giving you visibility into the current status of your work. There are two ways that you can update progress from within the email, either by clicking on My Progress is According to Plan, which means that the actual effort will be equal to the expected effort, or by clicking the Quick Update link. Clicking on this link will open a browser window which lists all of the reportable tasks that you are assigned to. You can now enter your percent of completion or the actual and remaining effort on each work item. Let's enter 50% complete for this first task and four hours of actual effort on the second. You can also enter any notes which will be added directly into the work item itself within Clarizen. Once you're done, click on Submit to send the updates to Clarizen. At the top right of this page, you'll notice a Subscribe to your Tasks Calendar link. This link allows you to subscribe to an iCalendar feed of your tasks, meaning you will be able to view your tasks directly in your calendar and even be able to report progress on these tasks at any time. Reporting through iCal feeds is done in the same way as through the progress emails. Simply select the relevant task and click on Update Progress. The same quick update window that you accessed through the progress update request is displayed, and you can now report your progress. Now, let's log into Clarizen and take a look at reporting progress directly in the application through timesheets. The timesheet module is used to keep track of the effort spent on work items and enables each user to report the effort invested on reportable work items on specific dates. A reportable work item is one where assigned users are required to report their work using timesheets, and only reportable work items are displayed in the timesheet module. By default, only leaf work items, that is work items without subwork items, are considered reportable. However, it is possible to configure a parent work item to be reportable. When a parent work item is set to be reportable, the work item will be included in the timesheets of users assigned to the parent work items subwork items. Additionally, to-do list items are not automatically reportable but can be marked as such within the property card. To report time, simply enter the hours on the relevant items, and depending on your approval flow, you may need to submit the time entries. You can control how the submit button works, either by submitting the full timesheet or only the selected items and even choose to auto-submit your entries directly in the gear. Time entries can also be entered on specific work items by selecting time entries from Add Related and entering the relevant information. Submitted timesheets can be approved through the Approvals module by the relevant approver. Be sure to check out the Approvals tutorial for more information. To enable timesheets within your organization, go to the Settings, click on Layout, select Timesheet, and click to enable. Now let's access the system settings and expand the time tracking section to view additional settings. You can determine your approval flow, if any, who can approve timesheets, what items are reportable, and whether you want actual effort and the corresponding progress of work items to be automatically updated from timesheets. Certain settings, such as the actual effort updated from timesheets, can be overridden on individual work items within their property card. To update progress directly on a work item, simply enter your percent completion, actual effort, or remaining effort directly on the work item.
You can simplify this even further by changing the percent completion field to a checkbox, allowing you to quickly mark tasks as complete. By default, work items are set to shared reporting, which means that if there is more than one user assigned to a task, a progress update by one user will be reflected on the entire resource pool. But this setting can be changed to individual using the task reporting policy setting. The task reporting policy setting can be globally set for all new projects in the system settings or set individually for work items within the property card. Changing this setting to individual means that each user only enters the progress completion for their portion of the task. When in individual reporting, updating the percent complete, actual, or remaining effort displays a breakdown of all the assigned users and allows you to enter your progress, view the progress of other users, and view the overall progress. Task managers have the ability to enter the progress of each individual user or the overall progress of the work item. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our Wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.